All right, Travis, you were telling me how uh, your arm wrestling grip and CrossFit's false grip for muscle ups is very similar, if not the same. Is there anything that you would do to train the false grip better? Or is there anything that CrossFitters can do to train their, cross, their false grip better? They can. Anytime they're doing anything, pulling motion, um, anything that they're gonna take from the outside and bring it towards them. When they grab that, when you use your fingers, right, and you squeeze really hard with your fingers, it naturally forms a little backward C in your wrist, right, which is terrible for the false grippers. And you'll see people get on the rings and muscle ups. When their fingers are touching, they cannot rotate and transition at all. So whenever you grab anything and pull it to you, you need to make sure you put it in your hand and not your fingers. So there's just an imaginary line that runs right between the webbing of your index finger and knuckle. So whenever you're gonna put anything inside your hand, a pull-up bar, a dumbbell, anything, you can set it on your fingers, which will cause that backward C, or you can set it in your hand, and then squeezing it will force a little bit of a false grip wrist curl. And then you'll learn to pull from your hand without your fingers being tightened, which will allow you then, you know, that false grip muscle up, it'll allow you to handle the weight of your body in your hand and allow your fingers to then move and adjust into that dip position. So for any crossfitter, if you want to improve your false grip, learn to grab things with your hand and not your fingers. And, um, and make sure, and it's easy, after a while, you'll shake hands, you'll, everything you do, you'll make sure that the weight is in your hand and not in your fingers. So that's, uh, that's something CrossFitters can work on. So for me, one of the ways without having rings, as long as you have any type of a neutral grip pull-up hold, you can do what I call neutral grip pull-up holds. For arm wrestling, they're great. They're just really teaching you in that starting position how to get your back and lat all initiated. So I'd walk up, I'd put my chin over the bar, I would grab again with my hands in there. And then I would hold my head up here and then just let go. And naturally, I would have a wrist curl and it would teach me to hold the weight in my hand and not my fingers. So this way right here would be how to strengthen your fingers. But you can see my wrist is bent back. I have no false grip at all. Here, I have all kinds of false grip just in my hand at all. I'd let go and then naturally, I would start to add weight and hang here as long as I can. So a steady count of 200 seconds, 180 seconds, three minutes, right? Right. Ready, go. The timer starts. When I come down after the first set, maybe I hung for 35 seconds. I'd add 10 pounds to me, come back up here, start at 38 and keep going up. Every time you drop, you add weight. And before you know it, you'd be hanging for four to seven seconds at a time with 135 pounds hooked to you. And for arm wrestling in this position where ready, go, I can catch and hold, anywhere in that two or three second mark is when my opponent is gonna make his move, break his shoulder away from his hand while I'm still up there nice and tight. So that's, that's a great way. Neutral grip pull-up holds will help with your false grip. So one thing that you were saying throughout all the different movements, with the different grip implements that we sell here, is you want the most surface area on your hands. You want everything to touch the palm of your hand instead of just relying upon your thumb and your fingers for your grip. Right, there's, there's no such thing as strong fingers. There's just fingers hooked to a smart hand. A smart hand has as much coverage as possible and it makes sure that the center of the weight or whatever's pulling away is inside of their palm of their hand and not in their fingers trying to open their hand up.